Once upon a time, the birds were invited to a great feast in the sky. Well, the birds were very happy and excited, and they began to prepare for the feast by painting their feathers in many different colours. Well, Tortoise was watching the birds, and he soon learned why the birds were preparing. Tortoise was cunning and clever. He always knew what the other animals were doing. And when Tortoise learnt about this great feast in the sky, well, Tortoise, he wanted to go to the feast too. You see, at that time, it was summer. There wasn't much food. Tortoise hadn't eaten a good meal for two months. Tortoise went to speak to the birds, and he said, O oh, great birds, please, let me come to the feast in the sky with you. But the birds said, Oh no, Tortoise, we know you, Tortoise. We know you are cunning. We know you are a liar and a cheat. If we let you come to the feast, you will make trouble. What? said Tortoise. You don't know me. I have changed. I have learned not to make trouble for other animals. Please, I am different now. Well, Tortoise has a sweet tongue. He's a very good talker. And soon the other birds believed that Tortoise really had changed. And so each bird gave Tortoise a feather, and Tortoise put these feathers together to make two big, colourful wings. Well, the day of the feast finally came. The birds and Tortoise, they gathered together and they started flying up to the feast in the sky. Tortoise was excited. He was talking and talking and talking, telling many interesting stories. And the bird said, Tortoise, you are a very good speaker. You can be our speaker at the feast in the sky. You will speak for us. While well, we continued flying. And then Tortoise said, Listen, before we get to the feast, there is something very important we have to do. Our hosts are the sky people, and the sky people, they have a special custom. You see, every feast, the sky people will choose a new name, a special name for a special time. We are guests. We should follow their custom, and we should also choose new names. Well, the birds had never heard of this custom before, but they knew Tortoise was knowledgeable about the world, and so every bird chose a new name for the feast. And when they had finished, Tortoise also chose a new name, and Tortoise chose the name All of You. All of You would be Tortoise's name at the feast. Well, at last, they reached a cloud in the sky, and on that cloud was a big dining table, 
and the sky people welcomed them to the feast. Then, Tortoise stood up and began to make a speech. Oh, great sky people, thank you so much for your kind invitation. We really appreciate the food that you have prepared. We hope that in future, well, Tortoise kept talking and talking and talking. Beautiful words. The birds were really happy that they had made Tortoise their speaker. Finally, Tortoise stopped speaking and they all sat down around the big dining table in the sky. And then the sky people began to bring out the food. Wow, amazing food. Big, hot pots of soup, delicious meat and fish, fresh fruit and vegetables, wine to drink. They couldn't wait to start eating. And then the sky people said, please enjoy the feast. But Tortoise stood up again and Tortoise said, wait, wait, wait. Please tell us, who is this feast for? Well, said the sky people, it's for all of you. And then Tortoise turned back to the birds and he said, this feast is for me. You see, my name in the sky is all of you. The sky people have a custom to give the speaker the food first. Well, the birds were not very happy, but Tortoise began to eat first. He ate all of the best meat. He ate all of the best vegetables. He drank all of the wine. He was very hungry. The sky people, they watched Tortoise eating and they thought this was strange. But then of course, Maybe Tortoise was the king of the birds. He did look different to the other birds. He was the speaker. Maybe the birds had a custom where they gave the food to their king. Well, finally, Tortoise finished eating. The other birds, they tried to eat the food that was left, but there wasn't much food. And the birds, they became so angry with tortoise. Some of them were so angry that they flew home without eating anything. But before the birds flew home, each bird took back their feather from tortoise. Tortoise was fat now. His body filled his shell. He was full of wine and food. But he had no wings. How could he get home? Tortoise asked the birds to take a message down to his wife. His wife lived in a house on the ground, but none of the birds would take his message. But then, Parrot suddenly changed his mind and he said to Tortoise, Tortoise, what is your message? Oh, thank you, Parrot. Yes, please tell my wife to take all of the soft objects out of my house and to put them into my garden. Parrot flew down to earth and he found Tortoise's wife and he said, I have a message from your husband in the sky. He says, take all of the hard objects out of the house and put them into your garden. And so Tortoise's wife, she got all of the hard objects, the wooden chairs and tables, the metal pans and pots, and she put them all into the garden. Above her in the sky, Tortoise looked down from his cloud. He could see his wife 
was putting something into the garden, but he couldn't see what it was too far. Well, when his wife had finished, Tortoise decided that he was ready to come home. And he jumped off the cloud and he fell down through the air and crash. He landed in his garden. He hit the hard objects. Maybe you think Tortoise is dead, but he's not dead. However, he did break his shell into many small pieces. His wife had to go to the medicine man, the doctor, and then when the medicine man came, he got all of the pieces of Tortoise's shell and he put them back together again. And this is the story of why Tortoise's shells are not smooth, but they are made of many different pieces.